Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm coloring with colored pencils onto Crumb Cake cardstock. Crumb Cake is a beautiful, original, natural looking cardstock, sort of like craft cardstock, and it lends a different tone when you use colored pencils. I'll be stamping with Itty Bitty Greetings and Falling Flowers stamps. This is also going to be a one layer card. One layer cards are a little bit more difficult for me as far as design goes, so I set myself this challenge. My card base is just folded, no layers here at all. And I'm going to mask off one flower that I would like to have appear in front of everything else. So off camera, I created this mask it usually gets stored in my stamp case. And by first stamping it on paper, applying the mask, and then adding all of the other stamps around it, it protects the integrity of that first image. My sentiment from Itty Bitty Greetings is stamped also in Crumb Cake ink. All the stamping was done with one stamp pad very easy and it kind of looks a little bit like no line watercolor at the end a little bit so the watercolor pencils do not have to be activated with an aqua painter or a water brush or with a paintbrush and water they can be used standalone as colored pencils that's just kind of makes them do a little bit more double duty in my craft supplies which makes me very happy so I'm going to do some basic coloring and I like to do that by first putting down a base layer in a light shade. This is going to help me protect some of the light areas and then I'll add color where the, draw, the drawn lines are of the stamp and that will help to give me the natural looking shadows. It's not a very complicated process. I do try to keep this very simple, not only for you to reproduce, but for me to color as well. So I've kept some of those lines very nice and even to where we can see the stamped lines, adding the color, pushing it down toward what where the petals would overlap or the petals would meet. The leaves are done in very much the same fashion. First, I added a blue color, very light coats of blue, then some green, and I'll add some yellow as well. The little berries are done in the same manner. They have three different colors on them. And now the centers of the flowers have a mixture of orange and yellow. The orange would be the deeper parts, and then the yellow would be the highlight. On a few areas, I decided to use a blender pen to mix some of the colors together, like in the shaded areas. This is really not necessary, and I'm almost a little bit happier with what it looked like before I used the blender pen, but it's all, it's all good, it's okay. The blender pen works much like a paintbrush in the respect that once you touch the pigment of the watercolor pencil, then it needs to be wiped off in between. Part of the essentials in a colored pencil set are the three neutral colors besides the browns, and I'm referring to black, white, and gray. The white is going to add highlights on top of the colors that are already added to the paper. The gray is going to add a little bit of depth in between some of the areas that overlap. And then that black pencil can very easily be used in concentrated areas to really give a little bit more pop to all of the images. So I'm going now with the gray and adding it around some of the areas. I'm imagining that my light source is directly above the image not to the north of the image, but I mean like literally above the image so that it would cast a downward shadow straight down. 
I went back with that white pencil and just made some little dot marks to kind of carry a little bit of the colored design into the rest of the cardstock. That way it's just a little bit more, it brings the eye around where the sentiment is. And the inside of the card is just carried through with another stamp. I hope that you have enjoyed this project and I would love to see how you use your colored pencils on crumb cake cardstock. All of the products that I have used are available right now in my online store. If you'd like to shop in my online store, go to JennyHallDesign.com and click on Shop Now. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!